This is Mohoy Soliman of Mohoy Vlogs. I've been roaming around Luzon and Visayas for the past few months, enjoying the perfect dive spots here in the Philippines. I will also try to share some footages with you guys. I will try. But the main reason I'm doing this video is because I promise to share you my experience in using this newest underwater scooter provided or sponsored by Lefit, which is the Lefit S1 Pro. Look how amazing it is. Anyway, it's already 3 or 4 a.m. here in the Philippines. It's early in the morning and it's also raining, so I apologize for the background noise. But anyway, if it's the first time you've visited me here on my YouTube channel, I would appreciate if you would like this video and subscribe just so you won't miss any of my newest uploads. If you also haven't watched my unboxing video of this underwater scooter, you can just click the link here or the first link that you would see on the description of this video. I will be using this Lafitte S1 Pro for the first time in one of the best places here in the Philippines. Well, if you are originally from the Philippines or been living here in our country for quite some time now, I'm sure you already have an idea which place I am referring to. And yes. I will be your virtual tour guide for today, exploring more about Balabak Palawan using this Lafitte S1 Pro. So stay tuned. Prior to testing, let's first turn on our underwater scooter. First step, make sure the trigger is unlocked. Press the orange button on the remote control to put this into unlock state. Next step, press the switch and speed key on the remote control and the main unit for at least 2 seconds until the power light is on. To control the speed feature of your underwater scooter, Make a short press on the speed key of the remote control. You can go from low, medium, and up to high speed. In addition, let me also share some facts about the Lafitte S1 Pro. Did you know that Lafitte S1 Pro is the smallest underwater scooter in the world? Despite being the smallest, it can go deeper up to 40 meters depth. And the battery life of the main unit can last up to 70 minutes, while the remote control is up to two and a half hours of normal use. Lafitte S1 Pro is indeed the smallest, yet so powerful. By the way, I also asked my co-free divers Argil and Borch to help me with the video coverage and for doing the testing. Remember, you still need to do your duck dive, but with a minimal effort only. And of course, don't forget to hold your breath. Here comes Arja Laura, who is also a free diver coach. She created a Facebook page, namely That Big Curbs and Curls, where she promotes body positivity. If you're concerned is about your weight and you think that using underwater scooter or free diving in general is just for skinny people, Arja Laura will prove you wrong. <music> Lastly, here comes Porch Miranda, who is a beginner free diver. At first, he struggles, but so long as you keep yourself relaxed, you can properly maneuver this underwater scooter.
I even used my Lafitte S1 Pro in one hand while holding my GoPro camera in the other hand. Also got the chance to bump in with this green sea turtle here in Ono Island. If you think Lafitte S1 Pro is hard to control or to maneuver, I'm hoping that the next videos will change your mind. about it guys I appreciate you watching this video till the end and if you wanted to purchase this Lafitte S1 Pro you can just click the link on the description of this video that will also give you some discounts on some accessories of this underwater scooter if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel please do so again just so you won't miss any of my newest uploads once again this is Mahoy Soliman stay safe and I hope to dive with you soon bye